own yet again the camera not telling the difference between light and dark. <clears throat> Ken! Finally come, time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika, but I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Oh, uh, Nimona, I am probably severely underleveled for this gym fight, but you know what? We got Palmo to take us to the lead. Snow slope run. Going down the distance. Of course, I'm trying to reach the whole time. Let's just head out of the gym and go up the slope to your left, and we'll fill you in on the details there. <laughs> Alrighty, sir. So that means this is my last gym, and I have two of each of the other things left to do. So we are pretty close to the end of the game. Did go the loop up the left. Where do you say right? We'll go to the right because I'm a rule breaker. Ooh, nice terror shard. Nice. Well, I can't get up here from down here. Okay. Hey there, Min Wing Free. This is where the snow slope starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down the course. It's like a slippery sliding nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time. You'll have passed the test. Go right to the attempt. Uh, sure. I'd like to know my end destination before I start. No? Okay. Oh, I was supposed to go through those. Oopsie. Or if I'll be penalized for missing the first one. Oh, gonna knock that down. I missed one. So do I fail because I missed the first one? Probably. But at least it wasn't that hard. Oh cool, I pass? Sweet, so I missed the first one but I still passed. Awesome, I like that. Uh, oh, I gotta go, okay, let's go over here. Apparently we're all just going to disregard what happened, so sure. Honestly... I could not have imagined Grusha would be the 8th gym leader. Like when they revealed him, I could not have imagined it as such. I have one of you, in a shiny form. Would you like to meet him? Here you are. Freezing. Ugh, I 
take it you're the challenger. My name's Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be a pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. Saw you on the soap. Your skills, yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today is not a great day to face me, you know? Better off giving up. Sure you won't battle me? Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. Damn. Acting like a real hard ass, aren't you? Get ready for to feel the icy bite of reality. And that's something I haven't been able to appreciate with my game muted while I was streaming, is the music. Because, like, for the game I don't necessarily have to listen to so I don't miss shinies. I've gone back to listening to YouTube while I stream. You are level 47. Egg fucking excuse me. I have severely underestimated this. Yeah, I kind of figured that'd be a one-shot. I did put Cough back on the team, right? Because Rock would be times four effective. Okay. So, I'm eight levels under. But my mooing Rock Crab has this. Yeah, see, my mooing rock crab has this. Does Cough evolve? I feel like if Cough evolved, it should have done it by now. And you're like level 47 as well, Uncle. That won't kill it instantly, but it's a good chunk of damage. It's a good chunk. Of oh, God. Why the fuck do you have Earthquake? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, since I know I won't one-shot you with Rock Smash, or with Rock Throw, we're gonna Rock Smash you. Oh, okay, you have Aqua Jet, you cheating cunt. Well, I was gonna say we were gonna lower your defense and send Pomo in and be able to just... That's not gonna happen. Um... Well, you're not weak to Rock Smash or Water, so... Okay, nice damage, nice damage. That's not gonna hurt as much as it did the other thing. Okay, it still hurt a lot, though. But that's fine, we killed the bear tick. Is Satitan your last Pokemon? I don't think Satitan's your last Pokemon. Is not. I only have about 40 points of health gone. A little over. You should weigh a lot, so low sweep should do. I did a fair amount, even for it being a slightly higher level. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. This ain't no Nuzlocke, so I can heal. I did like what 40? About, about. Okay, why is my computer monitor going to sleep while I'm recording? That's not supposed to be a thing. I really need to go into this thing's settings and just tell it not to go to sleep. Unless I deem it necessary. Because it's not supposed to go to sleep while I'm recording. That doesn't make sense.
I don't, I don't want to learn agility. Fuck off, die. Altaria, that's going to become an ice type. Okay, so. My best bet is probably just to stay in how I am. Because Altaria can get Earthquake. So it probably does have Earthquake. Because if I send in Palmo, it'd get hit with an Earthquake immediately. <laughs> You're level 48. Okay, do I have anything that would be super effective typing-wise against it? Pawniard. So the only thing that, if it terrestrialized, would be super effective is my dead thing. So I guess what we do is we just low sweep and hope for the best and worst case revive Pawniard and go ham. Altaria doesn't wait a lot, but like, maybe? I still love how they rehashed the music similar to Dynamax battles, though. That's one of my favorite things about the Terrestrial Eyes. Yeah, I kind of figured it out. Alright, um... Maybe it won't outspeed me and hit me. Did, did it outspeed me with my fucking duck? It did. Fuck. <laughs> and that does nothing. Are you still a flying type? Is, are, are you ice flying? Is that why? Or is it literally just do nothing because I'm three levels under that? Oh boy. Oh, and of course you have a fairy type move as well. Because why wouldn't you? Oh, pfft. fuck! I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look ahead and cheat. I just I just, I can't. I need to know if this thing has Earthquake to know what I'm doing. Yeah, but like... I, I want to know what his team is. Like, I want to know if this Altaria has Earthquake. That's all I want to know is, does this Altaria have Earthquake? Because knowing that fact is, like, detrimental to how this goes. <laughs> Fuck. It doesn't even specify if his Altaria has Earthquake. Uh, okay, um... I know the game's only been out for two days, but like, come on, someone's ha someone has to have the info. Um. So you don't even tell me if his Altaria has Earthquake. You're useless. I guess I have to fucking just look at its moveset and check, because this is kind of, like, scary. <laughs> okay, why did you type that in wrong, you idiot? You hate how- you gotta hate how, when you miss one letter to an actual URL and it just gives you some random domain name. Okay, you're level 48. You would have Moonblast take down Cotton Guard Sing traditionally. So it is possible you have Earthquake, but it's not likely. Okay. <sighs> so am I just going to put all my marbles on cloth? I guess I put all my marbles on cloth. Because obviously my fighting types are not a good matchup for this thing.
Sorry, I gotta send you out like this. But hey, maybe you'll be able to take a hit and, like, protect me for an extra turn. Oh shit, you actually did live! So I take this time to heal up somebody else who could prove useful? <sighs> no, I guess we take this time to just try and hit it to deal a little bit of extra damage. Which did not happen, but... Okay, now... I have... An idea. Not sure if this idea will work. But we pretty much saved right before the gym fight anyway, so... That's right. Lead me to victory with the power of your Moo! We're going to beat you the same way we had to beat Cynthia. Oh shit, can you take an attack with a special defense up? You can, okay. Go. It's fine, I have full restores. And you can take another one of those even with a crit, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna juice it up, man. We're gonna fuck you up by juicing up. That's the point of the X items, right? To get you out of a sticky situation? Well, this being eight or nine levels under, that is the stickiest of all situations. Do I have an X speed? I do have an X speed. Special defense, attack, speed, we golden. Now we just gotta heal after this attack. Freeze me again, I don't care. No? Okay. Okay. We're juiced up, we're ready to go. Oh, I should have terrestrialized. What am I doing? If I had terrestrialized, I would have killed it right there. But I outspeed it. I outspeed it and it will not kill me. Just don't. I heal just in case. Should I heal just in case? Fuck it, I'm gonna heal just in case. Just because I really don't want to fucking come back in here for this fight. I should have used a guard spec, because I might... I'm not... Okay. I wasn't going to finish that sentence and jinx it. Strategizing, motherfucker. It's not a thing I do often, but this was the type of situation where I had to fucking do it. And learning it didn't have Earthquake was the biggest part to this. That's honestly the thing that terrified me from reviving Cloth to send it in. You melted straight through my eyes. That burning passion you have, you strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. No, oh, never mind, I should give you your gym badge. Huh? You have a photo together to commemorate your win? Come on, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine. Special occasion.
Okay, can we just admit, though, that due to him being androgynous from the reveal up until the point, the point they announced his gender, that he might be, like, playing for the other team. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, that, that look right there. Hey, Jim Badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of any level. Also, listen to every word you say, whether it's cool or not. Before you forget, before I forget, you should take this too. Oh, cool! It's um, kind of like that one Steel type move, but actually useful without terrain. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again if you don't mind the cold. That is. Honestly, I will say I'm kind of disappointed that the hockey field wasn't used for the gym challenge. King! Ponyarn! You did it! Ah! I'm so happy for you! This is the best! I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time! Most impressive, King. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym, which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. And I already have a fly pat there for when it's time. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for Battle of Equals. I've got to take, my, take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. Well, good luck, King, and wish me luck, too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, but perhaps not for you. You must really be happy that she can find that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be researched by competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far, mm. how far you two can go. In any case, we will be waiting for you at the Pokemon League Northwest of Mesagoza. Okay, but like, why did I just tear up a little bit? Is it because that this is the... First Pokemon game that actually makes you feel connected to everything. Mm -hmm.